Welcome to this week's episode of the Uncommon Communicator Podcast. This week will be a bit of a UC playbook moment. I'm going to talk about going beyond resolutions. Using a one-word approach, the one-word goal, as opposed to using resolutions. And we'll give you some information, some data on why we want to do that. This is a follow-up from a live stream, and I will put the live stream into the show notes. So if you wanted to connect with that, you certainly can. But today we want to bring you the playbook, bring you the information so you can evaluate what your plans are for this year in setting your own goals and why resolutions aren't the best, but that one word goals are your key to success. Now to start off, researchers suggest that only 9% of Americans that make resolutions complete them. That means there's a 91% failure rate in setting resolutions. Another one is 23% of people quit their resolution by the end of the first week. And then this big number, 43% quit by the end of January when we're talking about resolutions. Now, there is another note that says people who write down their goals are up to 20% more likely to complete them. But what I'm going to challenge everybody here with today is the idea of the one word goal. And the whole idea of that is to pick a word or a theme. Certainly I have chosen words for me last year have been influence and growth. I did pick two words, but they're one word each. But the idea is to pick a word. And as long as items fit within that word, then you're progressing towards your goal. So you're you're at attention trying to capture those things and listen to them. So for growth, if there's an opportunity for me to offer growth to someone else, which is what I love doing through this podcast, but also offering growth to myself, then that was all feeding into my ultimately my goal for the year, my one word goal, which was growth. And the other one was influence. I was challenged a little bit this year with the idea of influence as far as having a metric to gauge it. And we're going to talk about that in just a minute. But why would you go with a one word goal? Well, the idea, the first thing is simplicity. One more, one word goals are easy to remember, which really makes them so much more appro- approachable, so much more motivating because you don't have to go back and think about them or find them. A lot of people will take their goals. People that are successful, obviously there's 9% of people are successful with this. Are they writing them down? Are they putting them on sticky notes? Are they putting it on their mirrors? So they're at the forefront. So they're always on the top of mind. And I think the other thing is the 9%, they might complete them in say the first week. So maybe set some small goals so they can achieve them and be done with them. But that's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about having a growth mindset and utilizing the one word goal to help you achieve that. So simplicity, it's easy. Uh, simple, something easy to remember. The other thing I like about it is its flexibility. One word goals are flexible, they adapt. So what happens is if the idea of growth, You sometimes you don't know what it is until it reveals itself and it will reveal itself. So when you're looking for growth, you didn't have something planned, but an opportunity comes up for a training, say that you didn't necessarily have planned for and you jump on that because it's an opportunity for you to grow or a, or in some cases a speaking engagement that maybe you didn't have time to prepare for, but it's a growth opportunity. I took a little bit of one today when I went out on a live stream. That was a growth opportunity for me. I had made a goal around nine o'clock in the morning and we went live at 930. So sometimes they can be really, really close, but the idea is being flexible with it. And the other part I really love about it is its inspiration. These goals really tap into our deeper motivations, our aspirations. When you have that word, that calling, that growth, that my, mine was influence. And this year I'm going to pivot. I'm going to continue with growth because I'm really started out maybe halfway through the year, really embracing the idea of a growth mindset, but now to add, continue to do growth and then impact. I want to take my influence and I want to turn it into impact. But these words inspire. How are and will I be bringing impact to those around me? Those are things that I'm going to be looking for this year with my one word. And your word can be different. It could be collaboration. It could be communication, learning, better communication. It could be a whole bunch of different things. I heard somebody said creativity. 
as a one word as a one word inspiration, which was a fantastic way to really think. I, I need to up my creativity. What are opportunities for this? And you can be looking out for this. Now, how do you do this? You've got to define this one word goal clearly. It should be narrowed down to well, one word but it should be a concise word that really sets the tone and the theme that you really want to focus on for the upcoming year. So it really needs to be really clear. The next thing is specific. And to me, those are very similar. These kind of fall in line with the smart goal idea of being specific. You don't want it too vague. World peace, that certainly isn't very specific. But how about this year you have a goal of helping your community? or helping a community center raise some funds. You know, be all of those things would fall under, are you supporting communities? So you can break them down and it takes a little bit of time. You have to take some quiet time and think about how are you going to create this goal for yourself? Because when you do this and take the time to narrow it down, you will be successful at achieving it. And we'll get to why in just a minute. The other thing is to make it measurable. And the thing with that is really to be able to record it. You have to know when these things happen. And sometimes they become so innate that it's like, oh, growth, I'll just do it. I'm not recording them. So it's important to measure those that you're making progress on that goal. Make it measurable. And that's why for me, the idea of, in, of influence which we all have influence, whether or not we hold a position of authority, we have the ability to have influence. But with that idea of influence, it, was, it wasn't something that I measured very well this year. So, because influence a lot of times happens and we don't even know that we're influencing people. So it's out there and that's what I tell people. But the idea is to have your goal measurable. And what I like about the one word idea is don't just focus on the outcomes. Outcomes are, are important and the outcomes dictate where you're going, but focus on the behaviors that get you there. For me, the idea of growth changed my behaviors. Do I need to read more? Do I need to listen to more podcasts? Do I need to listen to more books on tape, which I spend a lot of time doing while I'm driving? Do I need to do be specific in those books that I'm reading to help my growth in a certain area? Those are all things that are behaviors and habits. One thing I wish I was better at would be journaling. Every time I've journaled and I've wrote stuff down, I, I felt inspired. I felt accomplished. It was great getting those ideas out of my head, but I'm not consistent with it. Maybe discipline should be mine for this year, but discipline is important. But focusing on the behaviors, not just the outcomes. It's also very important to celebrate your successes. Realize when you get there. This year, I had as my goal to become a registered scrum master. And Felipe Engineer Manriquez helped me get there. I sat through his class, his training he offers, and he's a registered scrum master trainer. But I, I celebrated that because it was an accomplishment that I achieved. Another one that I achieved this year was Distinguished Toastmaster, which was another role that took me a couple of years to work through to get to those uh, to that level of distinguished Toastmaster. It was a certain amount of speeches. It was leadership within the Toastmasters district. It was also going through a specific project, but I celebrated that when I got that, when you achieve it, but you have to achieve every level of these successes. And the most important thing is to review and adjust it. You have to look at it at the end of the day. Are you heading towards that goal? Is that your real goal? And you know, we don't have to do this and January 1st or on December 31st. We don't have to do that then. We can review it and then decide, hey, this is going to be a new goal, a new focus for me. And that's something that you can do to adjust and maybe head down that other inspiring direction that's going to motivate you on the path that you want to get to. So why are these important and why are they more successful? It starts right back at where I started. They're simple. They're flexible. And the idea of the inspiration makes it to a point where it's really something that's deep in your heart and your desire versus on a piece of paper that you've got to check. And I do like the aspect of SMART goals, but when you write them out, you know, remember it's you know measurable, all of those things that go along with being within that SMART goal, those are all things great to write out, which help you accomplish it and see that you did. But if you are going towards the goal as an inspirational thing. For me, it's going to be growth 
and impact this year. So to be able to go towards those things and have that as a focus, my success rate is a hundred percent chance of success. Have you ever thought that you'd hit those numbers? But all I have to do is keep working towards it and it builds on itself. And sometimes because you have changed your mindset on these goals, you're accomplishing them without having to go back and and check your notes to to see specifically what it is. And I'm not saying don't make some goals, make some goals of some, maybe some educational goal that you want to hit. That's different. I'm talking the alternate to resolutions is making a theme for yourself this year. And, and hopefully that year and this year coming, what you're going to do is plan something that's going to break you out. It'll be your breakout year. And to do that, I, I strongly encourage you to use the one word goal, throw away your resolutions. And with that, you're going to find the success that you need. So what is our UC moment for today? It's right in the title. Create a one word goal for success. And that's all I've got. See you. Bye.